up guys welcome back to my channel as you can see from the title of the video today i will be making steak and shrimp fajitas so i'm gonna go ahead and get started on the marinade for the steak i'm going to be using one whole orange i already squeezed it off camera because it took a long time so I'll, we should have about a cup to one half and then I'm gonna go ahead and add two fresh limes. I like to try to get all of the juice out of the lime, so um, I like to flip them both ways and squeeze. you guys hear Kennedy it's actually her nap time but homegirl not trying to sleep so I was like you know what let me at least get the meat marinated and then I'll try to put her down so the reason why I wanted to make fajitas this week um, I have been trying to like find healthier meals to meal prep that are easy to make um, fajita is definitely one of those meals and also like back in May we went to like Havasu and there was this restaurant I think it's called like Havalina Catalina and they had the bombest fajitas I have ever had in my life I got some shrimp fajitas because you're not a girl don't eat no red meat so now that we have our orange juice and our fresh lime juice, I'm gonna go ahead and add my seasonings in for the marinade. Um, today I'm going to be using um, a teaspoon of garlic powder, a teaspoon of onion powder, um, half a teaspoon of Himalayan pink salt, or pink Himalayan salt, my bad. Um, about a teaspoon of black pepper, um, one fourth teaspoon of cumin, um, two teaspoons of chili powder, and then this is uh, a teaspoon of my fajita mix from McCormick. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and dump those all in. Now the McCormick, the fajita seasoning, the um, pre-packaged for you to seasoning you don't need that um, I'm just using it because I'm extra and I already bought it so yeah right and then I'm gonna use the same marinade for my shrimp um, just half so the same recipe cut in half um, I'll make sure to link everything down in the description as well I am using sizzle steak I ain't gonna lie to you I never heard of that but it sounded right sizzle steak for fajitas we want it to be sizzle so this is what i use at the store i'm gonna go ahead and clean it cut it up and i'll come back when i'm pouring the marinade on top so this is what the steak is looking like cut up um i would definitely recommend using like a flank steak um or like a sirloin steak this is gonna be fine we're gonna make it work because this is what we have but yeah we're gonna make it work today um, so I'm going to go ahead and pour the marinade on top. Off camera, I did add some soy sauce. I forgot to put that in there. But again, I'm going to leave all the ingredients down in the description below. So that is what it's looking like with the marinade. Alright, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and put this in the fridge and let this sit for at least an hour. I'm going to go ahead and prep my shrimp, get my vegetables cut up, and Marinade that I use for my steak. Pour it right on over. Yay! Yay! 
go ahead and get our vegetables cut up. veggies added to a bigger Tupperware and off camera I just put together some of my McCormick tequila seasoning with some grapeseed oil and I'm going to pour that over. So this is how my homemade restaurant style steak and shrimp fajitas turned out along with my homemade pico de gallo uh, yeah they look bomb they were bomb I already tasted some of them off camera they're delicious let me tell you that right there uh, leave a comment down below if you give these a try if you have any other recipes you want to see me make and a big thumbs up if you enjoyed watching this video if you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button and that bell notification is turned on. That way you never miss a recipe and I'll see you in the next one. Ooh.